What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Two interesting proposals for Looney Classic. One that you will have already known about and one that is under the radar, but we definitely need to talk about it. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for all your latest and greatest in both cryptocurrency and Looney Classic. And smash a like if you're still bullish. You want to see Looney Classic to a dollar. You know what to do. Smash a like is the only channel on YouTube right now that can pump the cryptocurrency market. Confirmed on my live streams 4 p.m. Eastern every single day. And with that being said, let's take a look at where the market currently sits. Now, we are less than 24 hours away from that FOMC meeting during Jerome Powell expecting 25 basis points. So we are expecting a slight market pullback, but we say 1.18 trillion, about half a percent up. Our volume is down. So that shows you that people are buying, but they are buying very specific coins out there right now. We see Bitcoin sitting around 29,200, Ethereum 1861, Worldcoin, if you're interested, up 13%, about $2.20. Crazy stuff over there. XRP holding 70 cents. But when we look for Luna Classic, we head all the way back down here into the high 60s, into the 70s, and we finish at the 82nd highest ranked cryptocurrency out there terra luna classic but it is starting to move in the last couple of hours 82 11 is the current price 0.7 percent up on the day our market cap heading hopefully back up to about half a billion with volume still stagnant around 23.7 million we have to get our volume moving if we want to get some real burns going on on the supply as well as really starting to influence people coming into the project. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We'll take a look in a little bit more detail in just a minute. We are here to talk about Happy Catty Crypto's latest governance proposal. Now, he obviously launched the one around the infrastructure and getting our own wallet, which I 100% agree with. This one is slightly more abrasive, shall we say, but absolutely has the right sentiment behind it. So if you've been following my channel for a while, if you've been sticking up to date with what's going on with Luna Classic, you've seen a shift in where proposals are initially discussed before launching on uh, for voting. We've seen move from Agora Forum into the Commonwealth. Now, the problem we have here is the Commonwealth fundamentally is governed by some of the team that have influenced uh, the Luna Classic chain and equally are working on it. So namely Edward Kinn, Rex and Bilbo Baggins. And they also did this without consulting the community. This was kind of already just done, put through, and they are admins and moderators for this. Now, in the truest of sense, whenever you come to decentralization, it's important that you absolutely stick to that world. And if there is any conflict of interest, bear in mind money is involved with this, then you should absolutely separate yourselves from it. It's dead important. We can see there, the transition to Commonwealth moderated by Edward Kane Rex and Bilbo Baggins was made without consulting the community. The reasons behind moving to Commonwealth may have been valid, the lack of community input and governance proposal is troubling. Additionally, the current administrations have taken unilateral actions, privatizing a sector frequently used by the Lunt community. This gives them unfair advantage on other community members. Again, they can spin a narrative or they can spin an addition to any proposals that can work in their favor. We already know, and that's why we was there was a lot of votes around should validators have a set amount of voting power irrespective of the amount they have because they can influence decisions that may not be in the truest of sense decentralized. It says here, the fact that three members are part of the team introduce conflicts of interest in a truly decentralized, and truly decentralized ecosystem. Governance proposals should not be moderated by individuals with vested interest. I think that's very, very important indeed. As well as uh, there is interest uh, instances of people abusing admin privileges and ultimately people are admins that are no longer part of the change. I think that's very, very important. What uh, What's happy is kind of voting is ultimately we denounce those as the admins that is then taken up by separate people without any conflict of interest, without any association specifically with a team or development. And I absolutely agree with him. I think it's the right thing. He's gained a bit of backlash from it, but fundamentally we want decentralization. We want algorithmic stable coins. That is what Luna Classic stand for. Pure decentralization is governed entirely by the community without anyone having an unfair advantage over anyone else. I think that is dead important. But what else is important is a quick word from today's sponsor. So back on CryptoDrop.net, the Bitcoin pizza case, my favorite $5 a case. Here we go, $299 potential return for Bitcoin. You see there, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Tether, Polygon, Matic. It looks like we're going to bag a $44, 0.002 Bitcoin prize. You can see there, take my winnings, sell for $44.87, or we can try our luck once again. I definitely think that it's worthwhile removing this, but put it into the wallet. And again, you can take out any of your cryptocurrency from here. Now, the $10 
Binance case is always a good one. Ten dollars on the ABC, Shiba Inu, BNB, as well as many other of your favorite cryptocurrencies that you can try and win. One thousand nine hundred and forty-four is the max price. We're going to get a twenty dollar and sixty-nine cents return on that case. So pretty solid case. Again, the BTC case. So this one is the one we've tried a number of times. Thirty thousand dollar Bitcoin could be working our way into our wallets. Doesn't look like we're going to get it this time again. One hundred nineteen dollars and fifty-four cents. So massive potential returns coming for crypto drop.net now it is as simple as loading your account you can see here we can replenish our balance it's as simple as taking those winnings back out and transferring it into your account you can see there we're just gonna put 50 dollars in in usdt nice and simple you get an hour to upload your funds into your account using many different chains to make it as cheap and as simple as you possibly can and again crypto.net makes everything simple and everything easy so you can concentrate on the fun always be mindful though you could lose your money but you could equally make some significant gains now back to our original video so this is obviously a very important proposal now we can see how the community is voting currently 62.14 billion votes has been happened 90 percent are agreeing with this move now again we'll see how the validator has come out we could see some pretty big swings on the validator points but at the minute it does feel like it is going green which will be very interesting to watch now the proposal that many of you don't know about or maybe might not know about is this the returning of 800 million USTC back to the community pool now this all comes from the ozone v launch launch which ultimately didn't really kind of take place you can see there that the ozone v1 launch demonstrated high demand for its underwriting capacity with policyholders quickly utilizing the entire 10 million capacity preliminary for smart contracts and then anchor protocol the ozone v2 was also in development promising innovative futures the current state of the project indicates that development is not in line with the initial proposal since no community funds were used to build risk harbor and all development was indefinitely financed by risk harbor team it is evident that the 1 billion USTC has not been fully utilized as intended so this is interesting this is pre kind of you know l1 this is all about duck one and what he put in in terms of this ozone l1 so i think this is a very interesting one if we can get 800 million uh, ustc back into the community pool i think that can only be a positive thing and then ultimately used by and put towards good use as opposed to currently what it is you see that background ozone protocol was initially proposed by duck one in a response to demands for terra's native insurance protocol from the t5 ecosystem the project received significant attention and was planned to be bootstrapped using funds from the community pool the risk harbor team was assigned to develop the protocol and it was rebanded as risk harbor but ozone and that hasn't transpired so we'll keep you up to date with this one again there might be a little bit more detail if you want to see a full video on this let me know and i can definitely research it and get that video out for you guys but take a look at the price interesting we bounced off this lower support 8167 we could actually get an upward trend coming with luna classic if this sentiment continues rsi is oversold so we could definitely start to see this move back up bouncing off the seven on the four hour i'd like to see us turn green if we go a little bit closer in if we go onto the one hour chart you can see again we've tested this a number of times and bounce once again it doesn't like we're going to come down retest and then a bounce off could give us a positive movement up in luna classic but two very interesting proposals let me know in the comments what you think particularly the 800 million ustc that could be put to use in the chain right now as ever though thank you so much for watching the video don't forget to subscribe on your way out and smash a like on this video and i will see you all in the next one Bye bye